In this video, I will teach you to simulate a venturometer, using the CFD software, ANSYS Fluent. Before getting into the video let me make it clear, I will not teach you about venturometer or about the usage of ANSYS Fluent for beginners. If you are new to ANSYS Fluent, or venturometer, Please watch my video on Venturimeter and ANSYS Fluent tutorial for beginners suggested here. Here, I have considered a Venturimeter of predefined dimensions. First, make sure that you have installed ANSYS version 17.2 or future version. Then download the file named Venturimeter case file that is available in the description section of this video. Double click the file to open the case file. The Fluent Launcher window will now pop up. Ensure the following settings and click the OK button. Let's do to the step 2, where we will set up the boundary conditions and solve it. Expand the boundary condition tab, and double click the mass flow inlet boundary, to set, the desired mass flow rate of fluid flowing through the venturometer. I say, here it's your option to choose, any value of flow rate. Finally, we need to check this value, with the mass flow rate computed by the software. Here I have given 100 kilograms per second, which is quite high value. You can try with low values of mass flow rate. After entering a value, Click the Solution Initialization button and then run calculation. You will be asked to enter the number of iterations to solve. Just enter 200. Thoughts quite sufficient for a sample analysis. After completion of computation, the step 3 is calculating the mass flow rate through the venturometer from the pressure values at the inlet of the venturometer and at its throat. Now expand the graphics option from the results tree. Click the contours of pressure, static pressure, at Venturi section which is the symmetry of the venturometer. Click display to view the pressure distribution at the symmetry of the venturometer. Now, this is the time to measure the pressure difference between the inlet and throat sections of the venturometer. And convert the pressure values, to mass flow rate. Right click at any point near the inlet, to measure the inlet pressure. Similarly, right click at any point near the throat, to measure the pressure at the throat. Using the following formula, you can simply calculate the volume flow rate Q, through the venturometer. Here, a1 and A2 are the area of the venturometer's inlet and throat respectively. If you substitute the diameter values in meters, use 0.3 meters and 0.15 meters for the inlet and throat diameters. Be careful with the unit conversions. The term H, is actually the difference in pressure head, where P1 and P2 are the pressure values, that we have computed from the contour results. Rho is the density of water. Just plug in, all the values, to get the volume flow rate of the fluid, through the venturometer. As our intention, is to verify the measurement of mass flow rate, just multiply the volume flow rate Q, with the density of water. Now you will get the mass flow rate, what you have entered in the boundary condition mass flow inlet. Oh, no! There is a difference. That is due to the error in measurement of the venturometer. That is characterized by coefficient of discharge. You can now try with, different flow rates and verify whether it computes correctly, or not. The final learning from this experiment is that, the mass flow rate, through any pipeline can be calculated, by fitting a venturometer in between the pipeline. 
and by measuring the pressure difference. Now, we have simulated the same, using the CFD package ANSYS Fluent. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.